Hi everyone, welcome to our latest installment of Agents Unmasked. I'm really excited to do our first in-person interview and I've got the amazing Ivan with us and he's Hi, from uh, MOC Central. Hi, and yeah. Lovely uh, to meet you, Ivan. Good to see you, man. You. Yeah. Thanks and for, to for joining see us. You, uh, in person. Exactly. Finally. Yeah, and this is the, I guess it's the first time that we do it face to face. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it, it adds a lot more realism personal and touch. personal touch for yeah. sure. And um, it, it's wonderful. I've known Ivan only through, again, the mass community. And this is another example of how amazing this, this community is with being able to bring like minded individuals together. together. Yeah, so that's awesome. But maybe what I want to find out is you're well known for your amazing, I mean, I just want to show one first, just give a bit of eye candy, uh, even bigger eye candy. We've got this, these beauties. Let's leave these in front of us. Um, but we're here to talk about these, but I want to know a little bit about your backstory and to how did you come into Mask? Like what was your first experience with Mask going back years? So, uh, yeah, as I've shared before, mm. um, it's really um, back in the days when it was 1985, uh, when it was a cartoon back in Hong Kong. I was staying in Hong Kong back then. Yeah. Um, we have it in Cantonese. Yeah. And uh, the toys were amazing. So, um, you know, back in those days when um, there are many different kinds of toys like Transformers, Gundam, they have very nice box art. And the box art look very attractive. They have very good articulation. Yeah. But when you build the toy, it's a totally different story. <laughs> so um, what I realized is for Mars, the, the transformation really works. And um, it looks exactly like how the box art is actually uh, trying to portray it, it is. And I think back in those days, those are really cool. And uh, I love the cartoon. I love, I mean, who doesn't love, as a kid, who doesn't love a cars that can transform it? Exactly. Yeah, I think... That's, that's a really cool part of um, having masks. Um, the thing is, um, these toys were, um, they are not extremely expensive, but um, back in those days, I don't have uh, any of those. I only have one. Okay. It's a bullet. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I only have one bullet. Yeah. And uh, I recall um, one of the day, my, my mom's friend brought the son along and then the son loved it. And then my mom just happily said, no, you just stick it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's how I... So you adopted my, it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's how I have my first toy and how I eventually, yeah, parted it as well. Yeah, so that is some of my backstory. Um, so right now, um, we are looking at some of the Lego creation that I make um, yeah. myself without instruction. And, um, you know... For me, it's the satisfaction, satisfaction to actually make it, make them in Lego form, yeah, and to add some customization of my own, yeah, um, that makes sense. Um, but of course, I use a lot of the cartoon as a reference for all my creations. Mm. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think we'll talk about this really mm. soon. I mean, just what, start, um, what, what brought you into Lego? How did you go into Lego? So. Were you doing Lego as a child as well, or are you just an AFOL? So AFOL, for those who don't know, is an adult fan of Lego. Yeah. So um, we, uh, I guess all of us play Lego as a kid. Mm. So for me, it's, uh, it started as a journey that my mom uh, bought me a box of Lego. Uh, it was the set 599, if I'm not wrong. Wow, you still yeah, remember. So <laughs> like, because I have a photo I shall of find it. that, and then I'll put it on the screen so everyone can see 599. Yeah, I, I, I guess it's a... Yeah, it's a, it's a creator box set so okay. it's not a specific team yeah. or anything so you have all these different bricks that's um, mixed okay. up together uh, I had it during the I think close to the Christmas time yeah. so it's a Christmas present um, and then from there on the, the, the I mean you can just recreate and rebuild it's like a, a tagline for Lego these days rebuild yes. the world and things like that mm. uh, I have this box and that kind of just satisfied all my needs for, for toys for, for a long period of time um, and of course I love other teams other toys as well uh, but Lego was always with me yeah. until uh, much um, towards like teenage years then uh, that's what we call uh, the AFO world called the Dark Ages mm -hmm. whereby uh, you kind of stop Lego uh, other things catch up with you life catch on with you yeah. and then um, the thing really hits me is um, I think back in 2013 I saw a particular Lego ideas submission. It's a Lego Hotbuster. It's okay. a minific scale Hotbuster that didn't occur to me that it can be created in Lego form in such manner. Yeah. 
So I was studying all the photos and I just tell myself, I can recreate this. It's not impossible. So I started to buy some of the small Ninjago sets, those small robot sets, yeah. and I tear the parts apart, tear the parts, um, tear the, tear the whole thing apart, yeah. and then use the parts to just kind of rebuild the yeah. thing. And I managed to build the thing. Wow. And I messaged the creator and said, look, uh, yeah, I, I love it. I'm, I'm not trying to uh, yeah, yeah. do anything funny, but I, I managed to rebuild it. Yeah. And, and he said, yeah, cool, cool. Then, and, and from, from <laughs> there on, I built another hot buster called the War Machine Hot Buster. Yeah. And then things just move on. And, um, and then, uh, as I've shared with you, uh, we met some of the like my other friends at um, the Bricks World first MOC competition at Suntech. Yeah. It's the first uh, Lego certified store at Suntech City. Yeah. So that's where uh, we met a lot of our friends there. And we decided to, you know, uh, since we like the same thing and we like to create with our own bricks, right? Yeah. Now we just form a team. And that's how Titan's creation was formed and subsequently developed into a group. Wonderful. Yeah. And then from there, you kind of branched off and started building all your own things. I think the first time I saw any of your creations was your Boulder Hill. Someone posted it online. Yeah. And attributed you, but at that point, I don't know, I had some trouble finding your site, but eventually you managed to kind of get in, in touch. I think once you started having your Rhino coming out and it became a little bit more prevalent. And now it, your creations together with all the other Lego creators is just boom, flooding the market. I'm actually really amazed at how many people are creating mask Lego today. It's yeah, I, I know I'm at least as well. it's, it's it's just shocking. I mean, I know there's a lot of people. Lego is huge. Everyone loves Lego, mm. but and the mask community is I won't say huge, but we have quite a few fans. But in terms of customizers, there's a limit. But I think we have the same number of Lego creators as 3D printers, maybe mm. even more. And they all are doing their own spin, all a little bit different, and all of them are awesome, which yeah. is really quite amazing. Uh, I guess the um, for the community, there's yeah. always two branches. Yeah. One is um, they are what we call the prairies. They mm. love um, things as it is. So mm. if for their childhood, um, if it comes in this certain color, no. the sticker must be this way. It has to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. And there will be always be uh, another part of group that uh, you know love customizations, love to add in a little flair of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess. That's how the community really works. Yeah. To come together. Yeah. Um, we we just have to be open to different views. Yeah. And to be uh uh you know encouraging to um all different views. Correct. Because ultimately we we want to grow the community um as Definitely. a whole. Yeah. And to uh you know um you know this community uh is only getting smaller because the of how Hasbro is isn't really doing much these days. So um, instead of um, you know um, having different views and may potentially divide the community, what we should do is actually band together and do more collaboration. In fact, yes, uh, and I mean as we were chatting before, so Lego is actually quite good with helping the Lego community, community yes. out and helping groups such as your Titans Creation and other groups. And we don't have this Hasbro, so I think we want to have a shout out to you to why don't you help our community. And there's many ways you can help us out. You can help us Definitely. out in our groups. You can even just help Lego side out. There's so many avenues. You, you know, just get into contact with any of us and we're happy to help bring this up. And we're not necessarily asking for financial support. Exactly. We just want to have acknowledgement and ability, recognition and ability to help and share exactly. without worrying about copyright infringement yep. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for on that part, for yeah. Hashpo and Lego being a collaborator, mm. uh, I guess a little bit different Tougher. because um, essentially uh, a lot of people would be um, okay. It might be a concept that's harder to grasp, but let's say if uh, I put it this way, um, it might be asking Apple phone to use Android OS. Yeah. And especially, oh, and since Creo already has links up with Hasbro exactly. for their other things, they're yeah. more likely to ask yeah. Creo. But you know what, from our side, I really don't mind where it comes from because Creo and Lego... Yes, I think, for, <laughs> I think for the fan community, yeah. yes, exactly, I agree with you. Yeah. Um, for the end users, yeah. um, the difference is really uh, negligible. Yeah. Um, but for the, um, for the company, of course, there's 
whole huge, lot of it's huge implications. Yeah, yeah. Right behind behind it. So yeah. um, when I whenever I post, there will, there will always be people that uh, share with me that why not you submit to Lego Ideas? Mm. And, and for the record, um, I can share with everyone that it has been submitted and it has been rejected as well. It's not something that haven't been tried. We have tried before. I've yeah. tried before. Okay. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm not the only one who have tried before as well. Yeah. Uh, and to set the record straight is not going to be possible right now because of IP issues. Mm, I guess so, yeah, because of that. Yeah. Things that are beyond our control, but that it's doesn't stop us from trying to submit. Yeah, and uh, not submit, but more for like- Build ourselves, things, yeah. for ourselves, for ourselves, for the community, for to, the things, yeah. Yeah, to maybe learn and be inspired, to try to actually build it yourself as well. No, exactly. So, yeah. I mean, I think um, one of the first Lego designers for, well, person who used Lego to build uh, mask toys, at least Alex that we Jones. saw, was Alex Jones, right? Yeah. Orion Pax. Um, how much of an influence was he, you think? Oh, Did he you was see? the, I would say, the biggest influence yeah. uh, in my creation as well as to ignite that. You yeah. know, um, whenever I search for Lego mask, yeah. his will always pop up as the first search. I think it was already five, six, or even longer, maybe 2012? Yeah, yeah. That he, he, he came out. Like back in, yeah, probably around that time. Yeah, sorry if I got it wrong, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a very nice guy. Yeah, uh, so... Uh, and I know that he used to be a Lego designer as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, talking of Lego designer, I've seen pictures of his studio because he has it on his group and I've seen pictures of other Lego designers where they have their room or one whole room covered with boxes and boxes and boxes of mm. all the multiple different parts. Is that how you kind of arrange your Lego stuff In up? Fact, it's just hidden right this. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah. had it concealed. Yeah. Um, but it's right there. Okay, so it's you can the whole wall, you can, which I can show you later. You can yeah. slide it open and then take yeah, your. Just, it's a tic tac door. You yeah. You press it and yeah, all the parts. Well, are so there. you see, it's like Boulder Hill. It's hidden. Illusion is the ultimate <laughs> weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful. Why don't you go and show us? Um, so, which is the first one you created? Uh, the rhino. Rhino is the first. Yeah, it's the first one yeah. which um, I have done a lot yeah. of modification along the yeah. way over the years. Yes. When it first started, um, I just had the shape of it. Um, the mechanism and the transformation didn't really work like how the toy is. Okay. Uh, in fact, I don't really have... Um, today is the first time that I really touched the actual toy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so wow. I okay. never had a chance to really touch well, the actual we'll, toy. We'll put this guy yeah, here for now. But together. Yeah, so in terms of size. Yeah, in terms of size. Yeah, there's quite a bit of difference. There's there. a bit of difference, but you're keeping it in scale with uh, your LEGO creations that um, you use. So used. for LEGO, there's always um, something called the minifigure scale. Yes. Yeah, and this is to minifigure scale. Okay. Well, it's, it's slightly bigger, so there's like city scale, yes. city vehicle scale. Yes. There's minifigure scale. Oh, they're different. I uh, city scales is usually a little bit bigger? like... City scale is usually smaller. Oh, so okay. if you are looking at the city road plates and all ah, that, okay. usually they are like four to six studs wide. Okay. Uh, studs as in yeah. which Lego studs. Yeah. Yeah. Usually they are smaller. Usually okay. can only fit one minifig within a Lego vehicle. So for this, you can fit easily two. fit two. Yeah. Both. Uh, yeah. yeah Matt Tracker as well as uh, Mess, uh, Bruce Sato. Sato. Yeah. yeah. Correct. And the mechanism works like the real toy. Yeah. So over here, you just pull a card. You yeah. You can. Work we'll out yours and so we'll flip side. open. So we'll go to this side, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is the door that. Yeah. And then we got the thing that comes down, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for these, the cannon because it's really too big. Yeah. So <laughs> I can actually build a smaller one that yeah. can fit in, but I want the actual mechanism to work like how it is. So this one really shoots. So when you press it, yeah, uh, it shoots up. Yeah, just like how the yep. real toy is. And then we've got the bomb comparatively yeah, the bomb. here. Correct. So actually, as a ratio, it is actually quite a good reproduction in the size, your missile. Yep. And I prefer that the missile is actually sticking out this way. It's a lot more realistic than risking having the implosion going inside the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, inside just the toy to itself. The station. Yeah. yeah. So for this, um, yeah. the front bumper. Yeah. So I had one to secure it, actually moves up like that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I know for the actual toy, you just need to press a button and everything works. Yeah, but for Lego, <laughs> I um, think that'll be a little yeah, bit tricky. Yeah, very tricky. Yeah. Um, the um the ejection seat. Yeah. Doesn't work for Lego version. No. <laughs> yeah, but uh, at least the door opens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got doors, and we've also got the 
mirrors which always get lost on um, on the actual toys. On the actual toys. Correct. And your smokestacks smoke also. Stacks, yeah. Oh, this it moves a little. Yeah. If I have to push it, I can actually move it even further down. But yeah, no, we don't yeah. want to rip things apart. But you've got yeah. some mobility on it. Yeah. So I guess these are things that we could actually even work on fin finding a way. I guess to expand it to an expansion, right? Yeah. That you can pull it out and then flip um, it down. It's a little bit tricky on yeah. that, but uh, well, if I study enough, maybe I can. <laughs> okay. So you said you've been doing revisions for this. When did you first build your Rhino? Yeah. Um, so when I first built it, the the front and the side. Isn't like that. Yeah. The the back. Um, oh, so the back also the, comes yeah, out. Yep. The ATV. The ATV. Yeah. So and he's even got the bulletproof plate on the yeah. top. So it moves. Yeah. Exactly like how it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's very cool. And you've got this one on top, which is yeah. the. Movement. That's the very cute. Yeah. So I have very a little cool. handle. And it even has little. And it has the weapons yeah. on the side. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Yeah. And what I really like is even gone into put details such as the mud flaps which yeah. you have on your toys. Is there a license plate there? No. There's there no isn't license. a license plate, but there okay. should be. I think that's something. I've always wondered what. I mean, this is a cannon that he's put here, but yeah. So this yeah. this vehicle would actually fail a roadside testing, right? Because we don't have a license, <laughs> license plate. plate. <laughs> but if you get the expansion set from. One of the customizers? From one of the customizers, eventually, I assume there will be a set coming out that will have sticker sheets on there. Phil, are you listening? We need a license plate <laughs> on it. <laughs> and what I like, so you've got all your heater things here, you've got your missiles, yep. you've got your tanks, that you've got similarly on both sides, you've got your horns on yep. the top. I guess there should be a little bit more. This side opens up as well, yeah? Yeah, it got, opens up. That one opens yeah, up and it says masks. masks. It says yeah. masks inside there. Yes, yeah, it says masks. Yeah, quite close. But yeah, uh, yeah the stickers. So uh, I'm quite torn between uh, the cartoon version as well, uh, yeah. comparing to the um, yeah. the actual toy version. So if you observe the cartoon version, they only have the yellow and the orange stripes. Yes. Yeah, but for the actual toy, there's like three colors. Yes. So if I need to do, actually there's four colors. If I'm it's, into, it's, it's four, purple, yes, it's four colors. Red, yellow and orange orange yes yeah so if i need to do it in uh, lego form i will need to have it as four different plates mm, and yes it will be quite thick yeah actually you might, go to three fit. so three would be fine right three would be a lot easier than no the four way that i have weird. to build it because yeah. um currently now is ah uh, you've done it studs out is, yeah it's a snot way it's yeah. not way right yeah correct mm. so it's not a stud on top yes so you have if i need to have four, you'd have you'd have, you to, have to be stuck you yeah, have to do it as a top. back on top yeah. but to be honest i actually really like this color scheme and i think that brings back what you're talking about the purist versus depends what you want to be as a purist do you want to be a toy purist or do you want to be a cartoon purist and yeah. it, it's, it's a tough balance I mean I've used to seeing this but I still always think of Rhino with these colors so I would love a customizer to please make a sticker sheet it's actually the easier form of sticker sheet to make because you don't have to do so much just make a sticker version that makes things look cartoon accurate because yeah. that is sometimes a nice thing so I do like the fact that it's gotten the cartoon accurate colors which can in a way be independent from what the, the toy is, I mean. In fact, the toy is a little bit purple, more to maroon kind of Yes. This is a little bit more similar to what Stop. the actual cartoon okay. colors are. I so see. I think that's quite um, quite cool. I mean, it's, interesting, it's super yeah. amazing. So, so sorry, you said, when did you start building this one again? Uh, oh. It's back in like 217. Yeah. And over the years, I have... Uh, Modify it many different times, redo <laughs> it many different times. And one thing for Lego Dark Red in particular for this color, uh, the tiles and the and the bricks are very brittle, mm. very fragile. So oh, okay. whenever I try to rebuild this, one of the tile or one of the brick tends to just break apart. Yeah, especially yeah. when you're taking off these yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the the flat ones, Correct. right? Yeah. So uh, but it's worth the time to actually do it because it's my favorite vehicle among the whole, uh, all the different series of Wow. Yeah. Are you, um, I'm, I'm just super amazed. Where do you get the bricks from? So where do you get your supplies from and how do you order them? So do you in your mind know what I need to build it? Do you do a mock-up with other colors that you have and then go and order those parts in or how do you go about 
doing it? So um, there's a few ways to yeah. actually gather parts. Yeah. Um, the easiest way is to actually buy some of the sets on discount, <laughs> break them apart, yeah. and then store the bricks yeah. individually. Uh, another way is through Bricklink. Yeah. Bricklink is like a super. It's, it's like an online uh, marketplace yeah. for bricks. So you can buy your mini face, you can buy your parts, anything on Bricklink. Uh, that's the easiest way. Yeah, and that one is very variable with the prices. Whichever is a yeah. rarer part is, can cost a lot so more. It depends activity. on the country. So um, yeah. there are certain countries I try to avoid, like okay. US, because the <laughs> postal yeah. fees are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Germany, Russia, so far it's okay. Okay. Yeah. And these are from individuals, right? Like it's individuals, like it's kind of like a store, they put up whatever they have and you can yeah. buy them from different stores. It's like but your Carousel and eBay. Yeah, and it's like and Carousel, eBay, yeah. just for individual parts. Correct. But I know some of them, they really do it professionally. Yeah. Yeah, so it's their full-time job. Yeah. I mean, so it's, I mean, Lego is a business, right? They have whole facilities in Switzerland where you can buy box of, the not the bricks themselves but buy certain limited release boxes and they'll store it for you and I can keep this an investment and then you sell a few years later I'm not so sure if Lego actually do that official no no not Lego it's a third party oh okay third party okay. Uh, companies that will yeah, help yeah, yeah. you stock instead of instead of keeping shares of gold and silver <laughs> you keep shares of Lego sets like the more it's valuable like sets alternative yeah. investment, <laughs> yeah, yeah, alternative yeah, investment, like investment companies uh, a lot of it like uh, the UCS Millennium Falcon yeah. yeah the first version mm. yeah I think that was the set that is like the Holy uh, Grail Holy Grail <laughs> yeah, yeah I think a lot of people were talking about it yeah, yeah. it's it's, um, it's quite insane I mean, I have a few Lego sets that because I also collect Lego and I buy them to build and then I don't build them and they're sitting there and then a few years later I find them like, oh my gosh, they're like four <laughs> times the price of the value. Then should I open it up? Or not? Or should I sell? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It becomes this, this tear, right? This struggle. The, this struggle. So nowadays I try to, whatever I buy, just open up, just must open it. Otherwise it will remain sealed. And that's okay. not the point because I'm buying Lego not for investment. We're buying yeah. it for playing, for building, for, for having fun. Yeah. And that's the same thing I do with masks. I don't buy masks for investment. I buy it for... For playing, I mean, I mean, life is really short. Yeah, if you if you put them in boxes and don't enjoy it, then correct. Yeah, you are not really fulfilling the, the purpose of the toy. Yeah, right? yeah. So I believe in that. I, I fully believe in that. I mean, this is just it's so amazing because I've seen pictures of this, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be really jealous that I get to hold this <laughs> in my hand. <gasps> It, it really is uh, a work of art. I'm so scared actually to carry, but it's actually really quite solid. It's, it's quite solid. It's really yeah, solid. It's solid. Yeah. yeah so really I wouldn't, I wouldn't carry it like that. I'd be scared, yeah. but it is, it is solid. And that's a good thing well, with Lego. It wasn't so solid when I first started. Yeah. But over the years, I have um, reinforced yeah. the whole build, and right now it's really solid. Yeah. It doesn't fall apart easily, and uh, I actually managed to secure it as well. So yeah. if I shake it, it doesn't come <laughs> apart. If you shake this, probably something will fall off. <laughs> this guy rattles oh, a lot more. Yeah. Oh, another thing for Lego is even if it breaks, I can always fix it. Exactly. Yeah, so that's one. And then one you will page. realize, oh, there's something I need to improve. So then, you know, yeah. you need to make that part better. Do you use any of the software? Because the software is right where you can do like the building on like yeah. the, the mock up so things to test and trial. There's a few software yeah. that a lot of people use. Yeah. Uh, one is called the Lego Designer, which, uh, LDD, which. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, Lego has stopped um, mm. dating it yeah. regularly. Um, there's one more popular software called the Studio. Okay. It's developed by Bricklink. Yeah. Well, well, Lego also bought over Bricklink, so yeah. it's also under Lego. Yeah. Um, I, I'm still trying to explore digital. Are they free to use? Do you know yeah, free what? to use. Okay, we'll put links then, I guess, in, yeah, yeah, in the bottom so people can correct. kind of try it. Try yeah, and those yourself. are the things that then can make those manuals or if you're making MOC instructions yeah. from from those so the things. software has yeah. improved tremendously over time yeah. um, there is uh, when, when it's under LDD period to generate the instruction mm. um, the steps don't really make sense mm. like, um, when you build something it's usually from bottom up yeah but when the instruction is generated from LDD it's actually everywhere quite random <laughs> very random so you can start like from the top yeah. then yeah from bottom up but uh, what I know is the latest studio um the instruction that's being generated are very close to what a Lego instruction from a set would be. Okay. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people are using that to actually do the bricks head yeah. instruction and things like that. 
I've seen a couple of Lego MOCs for mask on some of these Lego sites where people can download uh, the I think it's rebrickable, yeah. Yeah, with brickable, right? Rebrickable, yeah. rebrickable is it? Rebrickable, rebrickable. Site, yeah. yeah. So, that one so has they a sell couple. the instructions. They sell the what instruction. you need to do is just get the bricks from the rebrick link or yeah. the bricks yourself. Yeah. Just build from the instruction with yeah. yeah. Are you ever planning to make a MOC for rebrickable for any of your uh, things? It was always in my plan. Yeah. But um, my long term plan is to build my channel and eventually share video instructions of this um, okay. for people to actually So that will be that. free for people to, for free, to look. Yeah. So that's awesome. So everyone, you must check out um, Ivan's uh, MOC Central, which we'll put in the link yeah. as well. Okay, Thanks. And he's got some awesome videos of the transformation already of his vehicles, and I'm sure they'll keep being I'm updated. still learning the video, all the techniques <laughs> and all that. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's starting to, I mean, I mean, to start is not so easy, but I think as I do more, yeah. things will improve. So uh, thank you for those who have uh, started to watch those videos. Yeah. It's very amateur, but uh, I would love to be uh, able to do more yeah. in the future. Yeah. No, and I, I mean, I think if there's any way we can help one another out, I was chatting Definitely. with my boy, what I'd love to do one day is come here with my other setup and do 3D spins. Sure, of, maybe of I can go over to your place. Yeah, yeah and we just bring springs and then we can kind of upload it onto your cool. website. We put it on our ones and that's a nice way oh, where people cool. can kind of play around with sure. the actual toys on, yep. on a 3D spin version. So this is Rhino, which is awesome. So what was the next one you built? Um, after this is the Firefly. Yeah. Which was built like three years back. Yeah. Um, I didn't make a lot of modification after that. Yeah. So for this, um, so let's talk about the transformation. Yes. I need to do what I call the part forming. Part forming is it didn't, it doesn't like transform completely without taking part. Okay. Yeah. So this is something that I will eventually improve on. Yeah. So I know from the resource as well as the reference material that yeah. the flap opens like that. Yep. And this is supposed to open up okay. to the wings. Yeah, so I guess that part here, right? How you're gonna have you need to have some form of hinge that will lift yes. it up to allow that part right. to be separate. So, yep. so I don't think it's yeah, just a few few extra pieces and then the hinge right is there. Yeah. But it transforms beautifully at the end. The final Correct. product is so really this is cool. Firefly. Yeah. Yeah. So do you do any of the figures themselves? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not yeah. so talented to <laughs> paint those uh, figure <laughs> myself. Uh, I have seen some really nice 3D printed uh, helmets. Yes. From um, one creator called Dawson. Dawson. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but the thing is that it's from a US site and the postage is crazy. It's like the thing costs... 20 over dollars but the postage cost 30 Probably the over same. dollars yeah, or more. yeah it's yeah. more so um, I'm still on the sideline to mm. um, whether I should actually get those so and he has mask helmets or he can design he for whatever you want existing lego size helmets for okay us. oh okay yeah uh, so um, well the thing is if I get them the next problem is how to paint them mm. yeah. so maybe we can figure something out because I know there's a few more in the community here who would be interested in having those mm. and if we buy them in, in batches it just makes sure, it I makes it easier be, yeah yeah and I my boy and I he's a good painter we actually ah, paint great. Warhammer stuff so okay I'm volunteering his service I will send you the link <laughs> <laughs> link and have a look at it yeah yeah okay yeah this is really cool yeah. because I think mask is is twofold right there's you've got the vehicle element and you've got the action figure mm. element. So when you were younger, what did you prefer? Do you prefer the vehicles or the figures? Uh, good question. I think the vehicles attracts me more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's, it's a package. Yeah, it's a package. I mean, I, I understand. It's the vehicles that do the cool yep. transformations. I guess the, the figures are that extra bit of flavor that goes together with it. Yeah. And then you can argue, do you need to have both together? But I agree. I think from a Lego perspective, the main thing is the, the vehicles vehicle. and the transformation. Correct. Yes. And to, um, I think the biggest joy is to like let's maybe just look. Yeah, at let's look at let's let's check out so Jackhammer next. Up, yeah, pick let's up bring up the Jackhammer. actual Jackhammer. There we go. We got Jackhammer here. So um, this was actually uh, built off with Sammy. Ah, okay. So when 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 I uh, approached Sammy on uh, Facebook message, yeah, I was just telling him, why not we do a good build, both of us. 
yeah, just a friendly challenge yeah. to build one because he wanted to build a jackhammer and I'm like, I also want to build one. I was wondering why the two of you had jackhammers coming up at the same yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> so let's do one together. Okay. So um, I was using your website to do a lot of reference on okay. it. Okay. So um, this is my version and it transformed completely from vehicle mode to the assault vehicle mode. Okay, without... So, Without Hitting. having to take apart anything. Okay, yeah. wow. So maybe we, you can do the transformation on yours and I yeah. can do so what are we doing first? We're doing the front. Yeah, front so first. okay. So for the toy, it moves with... Yeah. Yeah, maybe so just a button. The two things, yeah. So for the challenge for LEGO is that um, because this is a six-start wide uh, yes. vehicle, I can't really put... So this guy's actually gold. moving more towards the city kind of in between uh, oh actually no, he's yes. stuck but the wheel wheel the wheel base is wider so it's actually yeah. yeah correct mm. so it's still bigger than yeah still bigger scale yeah and he's in scale with rhino right uh yes like relative rhino. to rhino relative to uh how the toy is being made yeah yeah so uh this is how the front flat Wait, let's have a look works. at the front look and the front one thing that i added as an extra is yeah. the side mirror Ah, I was wondering why you know what? That's, the toy that's very have true. A side There's no side mirror. So I see. I, I take these things for granted <laughs> <laughs> because the toy doesn't have one. It's like, oh, there's no side mirror. But you're right. How does a Cliff Dagger see what's happening behind him? Because there's no way he can look through the back. Well, he if he's sitting sitting here when he's sitting on top, but when he's driving, he will not see. Yeah, and how does he move from the driver's seat to here? Oh, that's another an, question. That is illusion of mask. <laughs> yeah, illusion here. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Yeah, and when the flat actually goes up, how does anyone see anything? Yeah, so I mean, there's a little, he has a little slit there. Ah, okay. There's a tiny little slit for him or to Or maybe look. it's like way advanced our time, maybe there's a there's, camera. Exactly, there. it's a yeah. camera. I'm sure there's a camera. I mean, if they can have their masks doing all these things, this exactly. one is a minor, a minor thing for them. Yeah, so the door opens as well. Oh. Yeah, and the back of it. Yeah, so, so what happens? It lifts up first. Lifts up, and the chair goes up. And then the chair comes out. Yeah. How did the so how did these bullets so how did the weapons come out just then? I missed oh, that. The weapon doesn't go up. Oh, so you flick them in. Ah. Yeah, it just fits in nicely. Oh wow! Yeah, that is very neat. So you don't even have. I thought you had to. I missed that just now. I didn't see you had to pull out the thing. So, I just so it's actually basically out. just as smooth as the same amount of steps. Yeah. It pulls up. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So it's able to turn. And like yours has got it because this is meant to be a turret, right? An yeah, assault correct. turret and. This makes sense. You want to be anti-aircraft, mm. you need to be able to tilt. So we have gone one step better so with this. So will be sitting here, yep. shooting away, moving around. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how the, Let's see the back works. Exactly. Let me see the back. So cool. Actually, the side view is the best. And then the front view, I like the height that you've put on it. See, this is so... It really is... When you put it side by side like this, it's like a mimic of it it's really cool yeah that's amazing so the only difference is the front cannon and yeah I c it's, it's not the cannon it's like the two rooms yeah the, yeah. the, the two the, the the location of it correct yeah and the logo for venom mm. yeah i kind of just don't have the space to reproduce it so i i make it um purple yes so it matches with the purple uh, of logo. the logo yeah yeah that's the best I can do at this scale. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's already, you've, you've got so much detail on this. I mean, I just love how it actually tilts backwards that you have the full tilting on it. Yeah. That's really cool. All right. So transform back. Um, and it's back to, uh, this is a Ford. Um, Bronco. Bronco, yeah. yeah. This is a Ford Bronco. And again, this guy's solidly built. He's just amazing. Yeah. Well, he has to pass my girls' test. So yeah. I have two girls. So <laughs> they always play with what I built. So whatever I built, they will play with it. Yeah. If it doesn't fall apart, it's passed. Okay. <laughs> so you, you, you actually have put it through some rigorous testing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. So you see, you really wonder... Nowadays, a lot of Lego makes a lot of toys based on on the on, on various franchises, and mm. I remember even in the past they did it for a few, but it was so basic because the mm. elements were so limited. But nowadays they recreate things, and I think seeing all your creations, these are things that I think would have been on par with a Lego standard. The stuff you create is amazing. Oh, 
there might okay for for Lego standards, there's always um, the drop test mm. as well as um, the kiss test, mm. whereby they will expose all the new models mm. to a bunch of kids yeah. and then they will give honest feedbacks on the toy yeah. those kids they give very honest feedbacks like yeah. um, does it does it transform easily yeah. is it supposed um, well is is it like um, does it play like a toy how's the play yeah. experience and things like that so um, there are often times when fans will be saying that you know um, this doesn't look like the actual thing but behind the scene there's actually a lot of things that goes on a lot of design process mm. to why a certain set is being built because knowing a lot of the lego designers they're yeah. actually very good designer themselves yeah so there's a particular reason why so they could have made it exactly like yes. but there'll be a reason why they there's have had to compromise they, with one thing exactly. or another and there's always yeah. a age uh, recommendation mm. on the box yeah so it's really meant for that age group yeah so as an a4 as an adult yeah. you are like 30 40 plus and you look at something it's very different from how uh, uh you know a kid yeah want to play a lego set but honestly i mean i think any age would enjoy this <laughs> Uh, if you love mask, I think yeah. I mean, yeah. Even, you know, honestly, even if you don't love mask or don't know mask, you've got a vehicle that is transforming into something else. I, think I can't think. Cool. I can't think of any. Are there any other Lego existing things that do transformations? I think there is like Ultra Agent back in. Uh, yeah, the, but recently there few is years this ago, the monkey Ultra Agent. kit. Yes, yeah, the monkey kit. Yeah, they do but a lot of transformation. But I think these do more. <laughs> um, in a way. Uh, would be a good it's okay. comparison. You, you, <laughs> I know you have to be careful what you say. <laughs> well, I can okay. say it. I but I was observing a lot of the monkey kids. Yeah, the monkey kids look quite sets, cool, right? Um, yeah, I see a lot of mass element in it. Okay. Yeah, and I, I mean, leave the designer and will actually, uh, yeah, having some maybe they are fan of it's mass. so they've kind of gone with the monkey. Is it they've moved from? It seems a bit ninja go esque, but taking it on in a different. Uh, it's definitely for the China market. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a monkey god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. But they have these cool uh, mechs and like yeah, the big, the mechs, the big they mech, the um, big uh, boo, um, this vehicle, black vehicle that yeah, yeah transform into something else. Oh, okay, I haven't seen yeah. that one. Correct. Okay, it's on sale right now, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good time to buy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, um, Lego do have some existing franchise that yeah. will have um, some form of transformation incorporated in yeah, the design. That's true. The agents one I remember cool well. a few years ago they had some transformation which was also a bit mask as hmm? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite cool. cool. So you've got some more things here on the table. We're moving yeah. on to which one should we see next? Uh maybe the Vroom. Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk. So you have the actual Thunderhawk as well. Yeah. Yeah. Stay down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So the real Thunderhawk um, with a button, you press on it and yes. the side wings will open up. Yeah. So for this version, I will have to do something more because what happened is uh, if I can show you, yeah. um, I try to make it startless. Mm. So it's totally startless oh, yeah. and there's no gaps in between. Yeah. 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 Uh, the whole car. Yeah. So what I need to do is open up the back. Yeah. Um, the window. Flip this and then open up the bell wing. And then you can flip it back yeah. down. And then for the back of it, I guess for the spoiler, I just need to lift up a little bit. Yeah. And oh, this. And you change that. Yeah, down. I change that. Yeah. So it will open up for the to see the the thrusters the yeah. thrusters at the back yeah okay. and what is really cool also with this one is you have gone with a clear brick which is like this version <laughs> of Thunderhawk which I didn't realize I brought this one along and this is the clear wing back so you could use different color bricks depending if you want to follow yeah. the orange back or if you want to follow the clear back clear lights yeah yeah. And I added, uh, and I managed to add in the... Oh, you even have a bomb compartment. Yeah, bomb compartment. So yeah, so there's a bomb. And then there's a little And the bomb, bomb drops yeah, out. Just out. a small, yeah. small bomb. So it's replaced like the real toy. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I would change on this is I'll make this grey. Ha, huh, okay, this grey. Yeah. <laughs> but it's amazing. It. Yeah. I actually love this. And you've also got like the, the bullets, the, yeah. your blasters, your wing cannons on there. So when did you build this one? Um, just 
two days back. Wow, okay. Yeah, I managed to complete it. Well, I had a lot of reference online. Yes. So um, I was looking at some of the reference and I, yeah. I just tell myself, I think I can build this. And then, yeah, it just pops up. Yeah, within two days. So this is how many stud wines? Uh, it's six studs wide. Yeah. So it will fit in nicely with the city scale. Yeah. Yeah. Usually city scale will only sit one minute feet. I know. So but you say city scale and then these are a little bit bigger, but yeah. these are proportional to one another. I mean if you look at your jackhammer and yeah. your thing compared to the actual toy versions of them. So if yeah, I, can I guess we put the smaller one. Yeah. yeah. So if I use Rhino as the as the gauge scale. Yeah. It's to scale. Yeah. With the toy. Yeah, so you, you've got a similar scale to the yeah. the toys. So I think that's cool. How did what did you use for your referencing for scale? Oh, this. Oh, and okay. as well as your webpage. <laughs> <laughs> you have the little secret. Yeah, the secret book. So that I actually found that was one of the most um, coolest things in the secret book was being able to appreciate the height of the individual characters as well as the size <gasps> of the vehicles. So and this is why this part is always missing because he just yeah. can flip off anyhow. As well as all the um, reference for the, um, what do you call it, the, the line art and yeah. the, uh, what do you call it, the, the first drawings of all the different yeah. Yeah, vehicles. Yes. Yeah, when it's called Mark Force. Yes. Mark Force. Yeah, yes. Yeah, correct. I think those are the concept art. Yeah, the yes, concept the concept art. arts. Yeah. It's very, uh, it's, it's, it's something that really fans will appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. Because you get to know, um, the design process yeah. as well as how it become the toy eventually. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping one day to uh, have quite a lot more of the source material from the original concept mm. drawing. So That's we cool. should be able to share that with the fans and we have some projects in mind using some of the unproduced vehicles uh, I see. as well. I see the the one that is called the, the one with the state oil. Um, ah, so that was Outlaw's Outlaw, original, yeah, Outlaw's yeah. original design. Yes, yeah. the original design it was actually really cool. Really it was cool. beautiful where yeah. it lifts up and then you've got the cannons on the it top. It has an oil that. tanker that opens up, yep. and yeah, it's it's a little bit more sophisticated than the actual toy is. Yeah, because the actual toy is really a big cannon. Yeah, it opens up as a big cannon. Yeah, yeah, it's it's cool. But the concept art is even more cool. It is yeah. cool, but the advantage of that big one is you get this huge <laughs> yeah, cannon. cannon that's, <laughs> this huge cannon. Yeah, I can And at the end, they use that design in the cartoon as well. So they have to use the same yeah. the, the same design. So uh, I guess it would be cool to actually build that in Lego form. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. That's true. It has been, yeah, never been produced as well. Correct, yeah. And another thing that is in my pipeline yeah. is that you actually have the trailer. Mm. Yes, you were asking about trailers, right? Yeah, which... Um, never happened before. Yeah. I know Cliff Dagger does yes. the uh, big storm. Yes, which is really cool. That massive, yeah, huge with thing. huge firepower yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a literary. It's already a battle station. Yeah, it is a battle station. Yeah. So it depends what you'd want to make out of it, right? Do you want to make it a battle station or is it going to be a transport thing for at least like, I don't know, condo to fit inside together with a yep. control room, maybe with some further firepower, but that's up to your so imagination. So it can be a lot of things. It yeah. can be whatever you want Correct. it the to be. The color and all that. Yeah. yeah. Correct. So you can have a few trailers, in fact. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Exactly. For different purposes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So Venom had quite a lot of trailers in the cartoon. So they had a lot more different variants for well their crew transporters. As different base as well. Yes, different yeah, bases. But I guess for the toy, um, I think one of the... I think one of the fans really want is really a base for Venom. Yeah. Would have matched nicely with one of So there are, the problem is there's two different type of bases. They have their mountain base, they yeah. have their submarine base, and they had some other bases. And it depends if you go cartoon or comic. Um, but I can say there's something in the works on ah, on, okay. on, on, on that front. I see, I see. <laughs> Looking forward to those. Yeah, so let, let's see what comes out. Okay. Comes out from that. Cool. I see a couple more. Yeah, uh, let's maybe talk about Kriana. Yeah. So, um, for Lego creation, yeah, actually the smaller the scale, the harder mm. it is to build. Yeah, because there's so much limit to the Lego dimension itself. Yeah. Um. So what happened is, uh, for this I actually rebuilt many times, mm. and uh, it finally come to this version. Um, but I have to make some compromise. Mm. One thing is that it's supposed to be a submarine, but for my version, 
uh, this screen doesn't extend all the way to the submarine. Yeah. So it becomes like a little, um, maybe call it jet, jet ski. ski. Yeah, <laughs> like a semi yeah. jet ski it still, type thing. It still has the always well, you know, I mean, you open. just need to have a bit of imagination, right? It's an imaginary shield. I mean, yeah. Musk have got the technology to create a force exactly. field, right? Like <laughs> a Gloria Baker's a aura mask. Correct. Yeah, correct. Exactly. You're wearing the mask, you don't need. So yeah. it uh, it does what it does as the but top. it does shoot off at least so yeah. it does have a separate thing. It's like uh, it doesn't really have a button to shoot. Yeah, off, but it but can become. Yeah, it comes off quite uh, nicely, and it fits in quite nicely as well. Yeah, where do you get purple bricks from? <laughs> uh, these are quite, the, yeah, these they're are not common. They're hard to find, and then the find. purple yes. motorbike. Oh, this I got it from a building shop uh, locally. Okay. Yeah, so I because this um this is actually retired. This bike is retired uh, for a couple of years already. Yeah. Yeah. So I got it on Bricklink. Okay. Yeah. Recently, I bought two of it. Yeah. Because I know how rare it is. And yeah. The color. Correct. Yeah. That's why. So I mean, I've seen others creating Manta, and I don't know how they find enough uh, uh, purple bricks. Purple bricks is not rare because uh, with friends set. Oh yes. They actually have a lot. Of yes. Magenta, yes. Now, now I was thinking in the past. I forgot about the friends. Yeah, and you got all yeah, the pinks and the various. Correct. On those shades. So with friends with dots, mm. there's actually many different uh, okay. vibrant colors these days. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of the newer ones you've built. Newer ones. Uh, I have a condor. Wait, there's one piece. Uh, so okay, so yeah, this is more like a stand for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So again, this is really hard to build. Mm. In fact, it's the one that... Um, because my plan is to build all Series 1 vehicle first. Okay. So this is one of the build that uh, I hesitated to build because of the size. Mm. Yeah. So the ideal one would actually to have it in minific scale, which is maybe a take this apart which is a bike that's of this size. Mm, my gosh, but, but the logistics for that, impossible. Yeah, to have a transformation, have then the, it will be very bulky, weird. Yeah, chop up bit. so yeah. the only way if I want to make into this scale is to really drill holes and modify it, which mm. I try not to. Yeah. Yeah, so it's bigger than normal. Is that considered a huge uh, faux pas? Is that a big no-no in the Lego community um, to actually go and modify a brick? Personally, personally, I I don't find it an issue. Okay. But um, I try not to. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like actually building Legos feels a little bit like solving math's problem. Mm. So it's like an equation to things. Yeah. So eventually, if you are able to work within the yeah. system to build something out of it, yeah. the satisfaction is on a different scale. That's true. Yeah. So that's something yeah. that I try to achieve for the time. Yeah. So for, Con for Condor, the transformation works like this. It's very different from uh, the actual toy. So flip open the helicopter. Yeah. Yep. Blades. Blades. And I push this up. Yeah. And the back view is supposed to move up like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it can actually tilt up. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about all the transformation there is. Yeah. Yeah. Of, of, of course, I can't spin it too much. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit challenging. But it still does what it does. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. The next challenge is. Um, and you've got your missiles on your yeah, cannon correct. things on the on Small the front. cannons, yeah. The tiny little it's cannons small. on the front. So, kind of. So, it does still spin around. Ah, uh, sorry. If you in. It, it fits in back easily. That's a nice thing with Lego, as you say. You can <laughs> take it apart. Do you ever glue your pieces together? I try not to. Yeah. Uh, I have glued some. If you really uh, enhance the structural integrity, okay. especially when it comes to like um, exhibition time, mm. when some of the uh, exhibition pieces needs to be played by a lot of people, yeah. sometimes we may glue okay. certain pieces, but yeah. uh, we try not to. Yeah. Yeah. Because once you glue it, you can't take it apart. That's it, yeah. yeah. I, I guess maybe a structural central part or some, some core, you some may coil, and you may glue, it. may glue it together. Yeah. Correct. That's really cool. Yeah. Are there many, do you know of any other mask Lego builders in Singapore? Uh, I think there are a couple of them. Okay. Um, but it's a, it's a very small circle yeah. within mask community. Yeah. Uh, so I guess there are some that... Uh, maybe closet builders yes. but may not have actually shown their mm. creations. So if any of you are watching, we'd love to see more and get in touch and exactly. together we can build a community. Yeah. And it's not just Mask Lego, it kind of 
extends to all the, can go into any player because these are, so the modular cities typesets like you have on the bottom, what scale is that? That Uh, is, um, they will be, okay, modulars, they are called the, they used to be called the creator experts. Yeah. So uh, it's a league on, on their own. So they yeah. are the creator series. Yeah. which will fit in nicely with all the city builds. Okay. So if you we are looking at a scale, it will be somewhere between uh, minifix scale yeah. and city scale. Because looking at, I mean, because I collect those and I think Rhino, I mean, these would actually fit within the kind of building scale. The roads might be a little bit different. So for Rhino, it would definitely be too big. Yeah. Yeah, but for maybe but, like but a truck like this, maybe these Kentworth yeah. trucks are massive. Yeah. So if you do have them going past, for instance, like the more classic example would be through a diner, right? Because it's meant to be in 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 the states. I can see this with the diner actually fitting in. The height of it is appropriate. Mm. It actually does fit. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah. you might you might have a smaller version. I I think. Alex have done some like mini scale with Yes, yeah, see he's under he's he's Three gonna make the very scale. very tiny scale which very is tiny like scale, a few, yeah, yeah, which have he has just posted on his Instagram. So there are different scales that yeah, yeah will work actually. Mm. Yeah. If I need to make it into a CD scale, it can. I can potentially make a smaller version of this. I actually but, wouldn't change it. I think this yeah, would fit. But the but the details wouldn't yeah and you will lose, lose so much, right? Problem. You're already on the kind of brink of of what you can do here with, I mean, everything. with everything on there. Yeah. I think if you took even one or two studs away, you I might not be able to. Two studs away, you will not be yeah, able to transform like yeah. maybe shift it up yeah. down like that. Yeah. yeah. So that is the challenge. But yeah. uh, it's always good to challenge yourself to yeah. different to build a different scale. To yeah. Build, yeah. Maybe different kind of stuff. Correct. Actually, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean it's it's amazing. Yeah. So I'm enticed now. I mean I've always wanted to build bigger creations or some more custom creations. The only thing I built last time is there was the Lego hospital and they had that on offer. So being in the field. Maybe the very old set? No, the one about oh, recent. two years yeah. ago, is it? Yeah, the red and white one. So I bought mm. three of, I think about four or five of them. And then nice. I made a multi-story nice. uh, one with an elevator that actually works What's, so that I can okay. go up and down. So okay. that's all. Cool. And I put that into my city. That's cool. about as far as I've gone. But that I find is a lot easier than building <laughs> one of these because that is literally just combining <laughs> sets and making like it bigger. The more you build, yeah. the more different kind yeah. of Builds that uh, you build, the better you will get. Yeah. Uh, because when I first started, there's a lot of things that I don't know as well. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know, you just all you need to do is just ask. Yeah. And there are people in community that are very willing to share. Yeah. And there's also a lot of websites that are very informative. Mm. Some things like uh, some websites like Brickset, uh, um, as well as um, um, you know, just among friends, yeah. we, we, we do a lot of gatherings pre-COVID yeah. and we bring our creations on a monthly basis. And when I organize it, I also have sets that I can uh, do alternate builds mm. on the site. Yeah. So we just have fun and build. And build and then you can bring it and then you can get tips on, oh, I can't get this part working. Exactly. What do you suggest? What kind of And these are good exchange. Want? And yeah. these are things that we look forward to um, yeah. seeing to have the community build as well. Yeah. yeah. And uh, in fact, this year we are supposed to organize the Singapore Big Fest, mm. but then uh, you know COVID happens and everything got cancelled. Yeah, yeah, for the good reason. Yeah. So uh, we look forward to having it next year. Yeah. Hopefully, and you're gonna have a mask section. Yeah, uh, definitely. Everyone and have. there'll be more vehicles fact, probably by will, then. This this supposed to be uh, my display for okay. this year. Yeah. So, well. I'm looking forward to have it give space to the public. Yeah, and yeah. you got now a bit more time to make it an even bigger, even, more. even bigger yeah. display. Yeah. So uh, maybe we can go on to yeah. the brick hicks, yes. which I have just created recently. Yes. Let me just bring this over. Yeah. So I, I love briquettes. I, I I collect all the different types of briquettes as well. Not all, but I mean, I try to to get except for the SDCC ones, which I don't want oh, to. Those are crazy. <laughs> yeah, those are crazy prices. I guess you can rebuild it, except for those special printed parts, right? Yeah, those are the parts that's very hard to get. Mm. Yeah, and 
some small it's one little print two by two printed can go like a few hundred dollars yes exactly yeah, just for that maybe not that much but yeah. it's just crazy price just, just for, for that, that printed price because yeah. it's exclusive yeah. yeah so I always find that a bit sad when that's done that yeah, way yeah for SDCC yeah, yeah those are especially being here where we don't have the exposure to it yeah the closest one that we have is the SGCC yeah yeah uh, but to get a exclusive set for SGCC is another story that yeah, it's hard. Our market's a little bit too small, I think. I believe, yeah. For that. I agree as well. But uh, yeah, you've put these up and the first one you did was oh, Matt, yeah, Matt, right? Matt, yeah. Maybe we'll look at Matt first. Yeah, so yeah. what made you decide to go down the Brickheads route? Um, I realized that okay. nobody has done Brickheads for mass character. Yeah, that is something that I observe. And um, I guess it's good to start. So I come up with my version first and I was sharing it among my little circle yeah. and my teammates and then they start giving inputs and then they tell, they say what are the prominent uh, pieces yeah. of map that yeah. you should be looking out for yeah. like um, this cool. part over here yeah. yeah. And so the distinct part for his helmet is this yeah. as well as the bottom of the helmet which um, in the cartoon is already exactly so you've gone again with cartoon style version. coloring yeah, yeah which I, mean, I think it makes it a little bit more interesting and does fit with the cartoon yeah, yeah. the color on the cartoon is slightly different as yeah. well yeah so uh, as I was looking at, at the toy yeah so I decided to go with this version yeah and uh, it sits quite nicely yeah and the pieces used, I think one of the most unique is actually this piece, the visor piece. Mm. Yeah, this is a printed tile that fits in very nicely. It used to be an engine part on a yes. Catwoman uh, bicycle. Okay. Yeah, so I happen to have a spare piece. And wow, it's, it actually, very it's well. actually perfect. It's got the, yeah. the grooves yes, the, for that. Yeah, the grooves as well. So this circle. would be the hardest part, I guess, in recreating yeah. this. Correct. Yeah, let's put it up really close so you can see the Catwoman print right there. These are so cool. So do you collect brick heads as well or you just I like to do, build them yourself? I do have a few. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean I the brickhead exposure I have is I remember last time they had an offer, I think it was at the STGCC, where if you bought a certain amount then they gave you, you the, the free the my nice. the my build uh, brick head set or something, what's it called? The family where you've got multiple it's like a box that you can build like two I think different big heads uh, all the different customizing oh yeah, yeah, yeah. ability so that is quite a cool okay. quite a cool start to the realm brick of how to yeah. how to do brick heads and yeah it gives you at least that foundation of how to build the internal yeah. internal parts and then it's just a lot of small bits that you need all the small yeah. tiles and bits um, again for for Lego yeah. the smaller the scale is actually the harder yeah. to build like for example the for this, um, for his body, mm. it's supposed to be a cross. Yeah. And to build this cross actually takes a lot of different version. And uh, I mean, you couldn't even go diagonally across, right? You don't have parts that uh, do that. No, if I yeah. because Lego is always straight. Yeah, it's straight. There's no way you yeah, can. Yeah, so if I have to build, um, most likely for if Lego is to build it, they will print it. Yes. They have a printer press and yeah. But for us, if you want to brick build this, um, there's a lot of uh, different um, ways to go around it. So if I take this apart, so what I do is. Actually, I just use two-sided piece. Yeah. Yeah, to form this cross. Yeah, yeah. yeah so there's, there's Oh, a, okay. Yeah. So there's a tile. There's a two-sided brick. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go in between. Yeah. yeah. And all of you watching are like, "Oh my God, it's breaking!" <laughs> and I can always <laughs> rebuild it. You can rebuild it. Yeah. So the, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. So I think this is something that. Um, is I think in a way maybe more accessible for people to try and play around with building than trying to go into the vehicle builds with the transformation. Um, I think there is um, a community for those pop um, collections. Yes. Yeah, uh, and Brick Heat actually uh, fits in quite nicely yes. with the community. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's because it's, it's similar kind of style. Yeah. yeah. Correct. And, and the scale is, I mean, it's fine. It's a little bit small, but it's that same ideal of big head, small body. Yes, exactly. Yeah. With a Funko Pop. 
Yeah. Yeah. So this is definitely for the Funko Pop community. Mm. Lego answers to them. Yeah. And it's a huge community. Okay. <laughs> the Funko Pop. It's exactly. exploded. Yeah. And the next one that you built with these two together, right? And yeah. I was fortunate that you actually shared some of these uh, these two with me before you put them out. And you had a slightly different version of Miles that you showed me and yeah. you went and modified him. And I think you've done some cool changes. So um, again, the for the reference material for Miles, there's also uh, various color codes to it. Um, I remember the toy, the visor version is actually red. Mm. Yeah, it's not yellow. So for the cartoon version, it's yellow. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also some difference to the, uh, I think the belt as well as the shoes as, that he's wearing. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, it's um, more or less the same. Yeah. Just that uh, I choose to go with the cartoon version. Yes. Yeah. And this came comes as a pair because I um, I only realized um, I mean as in I only uh, know about Sharon's page yeah. recently yeah and uh, I was thinking that and, and, and you and you was um, sharing with me that we are doing a video mm. for the montage yeah so it strikes me that you know I can do something as well yeah so I build this up quickly and I do up a poster yeah. and then I just try to promote the page as much as her yeah. page as much as possible to try to help. So if everyone yeah. is not familiar, so this is Miles Mayhem was voiced by Brendan McCain and Sharon Noble, his wife, voiced Vanessa Warfield. Of course, they both voiced quite a few more of the characters. So it was a real touching tribute that Ivan put up. You can see this on our pages around as well, but yeah. Yeah. So, um, this was done in within like four days. Wow. Yeah, so I do it do that quickly. Yeah. And yeah. I'll I love that you it. even have the little things on her helmet which she has on her visor those. Yeah, those, those part, two yellow those parts. Two, those two yellow yeah. parts. I think that is so I think for the actual figure there's still a two tubes. Yeah. That goes down. Correct, there's some tubes, but yeah. I mean I think the main what's nice with brick heads, why I think they're perfect for masks, is because brick heads are all about the head. And if you want to talk about the figures, it's all about the, the mask, helmet. which is the helmet. Yeah. So you're kind of accentuating and promoting the the, helmet. the, the most important, I guess, component of the okay. figure. Yeah, correct. Of the figure. So you're keeping it. It's, it's like perfect yeah. for that. Yeah. So in that vein as well, I would not, I'm a bit surprised that Funko Pop have not jumped on the exactly. bandwagon to go and make a reissue of Mask Funko Pop. So please. If you are watching yeah, this, Super 7, you should. Yeah. Do they do so much. They do the reaction figures and mm. they do the Funko Pop, which both are in Well, mind. I guess with, um, with the movie, the rumor movie. Yeah. Then uh, we'll see maybe. The, maybe. That would be one thing that would exactly. go in. And Funko Pop has got their, their supporters who would buy it regardless of what, whether they're supporting it or not. They already have a huge fan base. Whatever exactly. comes out, boom, and they, they sell they out on those things. Collection. They want to have every single numbered yeah. series in that way. So this would yeah. fit in very nicely. That fits in. And same with the Brickheads. That's the guys yep. who collect. I mean, I, I would like to do that, but I'm not that... I collect too many things. So I, I would want to have every single Brickhead from one to whatever, but yeah, no. <laughs> it's tough, it's tough. It's tough. So eventually, space is always a problem for yeah. collectors like us. Correct. Uh, so but that's a nice thing with Brickheads. They're yeah. not too much space. They're, they're, exactly. Yeah, as opposed to vehicles and things. And well, it, it it just fit in very nicely as a tabletop. Yeah. Yeah, display and things like that. And it's so cute. <laughs> I really love these. So this is also something that on your channel eventually you'll be sharing how to. Yeah, I will be sharing how to build them eventually. Okay. Yeah, still and try to figure out. These pieces out the would be not too difficult to get, except I guess for this one. Yeah. But that could always be replaced with just a simple silver. Uh, uh, it can be. Uh, yeah. But you will. I guess the the one piece will if it's just a normal silver, it might lose a little bit of the details that yeah, yeah that's that, that, supposed to be there. that flavor that you yeah, have on sometimes it. Sometimes that one piece really defines the whole build altogether. That's true, yeah. and that is the center of attraction. Mm. Like your eye draws straight into the because the, into the nose the head naturally mm. is the biggest part. Yeah, yeah, the center of the head. Right. That is so cool. So there's one more creation which we don't have on the table, but I thought we should talk about and maybe I'll put like pictures up sure. if you want. It's your boulder hill. You, yeah. Maybe we can actually take a pause here. Then okay, then we'll bring boulder hill up. Yeah, Sounds sure. good. Let's do that. We're back and we've got this um, giant behemoth of a Lego set. We've had to readjust everything to fit this guy onto the table. I mean... And it's the biggest yeah. actual set. Let, let, let's just put it into scale, okay? So it's actually big enough 
to almost <laughs> fit in the Thunderhawk. Yeah. <laughs> to fit in the th- Thunderhawk actually fits actually, here and he can actually be um, given some fuel. <laughs> so come walk us through this uh, this amazing beauty, which has got so much going on, not just at the front, but at the back once we get to it as well. Yeah, so um, I did have some customi- customization on uh, yeah. the back of it, so which we will show later. But yeah. I guess uh, we will show the transformation yeah. of um, how border hill transformed from the petrol station to the battle bunker yeah yeah so maybe we start from the this petrol pump okay so all so the cannons come on and we've even got the hoses yeah the so are these hoses. actual lego they are lego pieces yeah they are lego pieces so, so these are whips so whips. some whips yeah, yeah. Whips. that is so the beauty so for cool. lego is you can always reimagine certain parts to be other parts as well exactly yeah this is so and they swivel right. as well yeah yeah. Okay. Next thing is the uh, the mini map version. Yeah. yeah. So and what you were showing before, before we put it down, so the color scheme you use is again you're sticking with, with your the with version. the cartoon version so the of cartoon your color scheme. Has this red line? Yeah. The lines up across the front um, front wall of the yeah. mini map. So I built that into the this build. Yeah. And all it does is I need to flip open the blue side blue top part and it comes down nicely to this battle bunker version yeah it's so cool i just love the feel and this part of the border hill is actually built by my teammate evan okay yeah so he started with this part and he just handed over, handed over to me that like, evan let's do this okay okay and oh he did the, the transforming part yeah, yeah. He, he did this part yeah 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 and he yeah, just that's why so i think this was so this was built when before or after Rhino? Mm, after. After Rhino. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's why that's how we can have Rhino to fit the bunker. Which ah, we will show later. Yes. Yeah. So after this is this. Um, what do you call this? I guess it's a it's a signboard that's sent to the cannon. Yeah. It's got a proper name. So it it eludes me right now. And there is two stud shooter. Yeah. That opens up. Uh, it doesn't come apart. It's supposed to transform as well. It's easier for me to just. Take okay, it so up. they actually are stud shooters. You press the button, it's a Lego stud shooter. So yep. It will shoot the missiles out, or right. your projectiles, or whatever you want. These guys will go and they will yep. fire. And shoot up. Yeah, and hit venom. <laughs> so the next thing will be the bunker version. Yeah. Uh, so the bunker session. So when it opens up. The iconic opening bunker. bunker section. And the door opens as well. Yeah, that part needs to come okay. out a little bit more. Yeah. So and the good thing for this version is that it will fit in the rhino nicely. When it comes up. So we've done one better than Kenna. We actually have the rhino that fits through it even with his radar thingy on top yeah. that is so cool so this was purpose built for rhino to fit through yes correct so i measure the size nicely yeah and it fits in nicely it's a lot of bricks everywhere <laughs> yeah um the hardest part for um to build this bunker is as you can see this is a quadrant yeah so lego pieces is always uh, <laughs> square <rectangle, laughs> squarish sharp edges yeah so it takes a lot of um version for me to actually build this shape out and yeah and as you can see um the top part is not really covered mm. completely because there's just no way to yeah cover yeah. up there will be some gaps in yeah between. i mean but it's the best i can do already and it's already awesome yeah. i mean also this getting that nice curvature which you've managed to get yeah on here that's really so tough this part takes quite a bit of uh, mm. yeah figuring out and, and it's pivoted right so this yeah. actually cannot come off it's actually fixed it's yeah fixed. it's yeah. fixed and next thing will be the mountain. Yeah. So the top comes off like that. There's a boulder. Yeah. So at the actual toy, you just press the button, it's supposed to roll down. Yeah. It's okay, but you can take it's it off and you can still use this to <laughs> and land on top of And then there's this. Your cannon on the top. Yeah. Shoots. This guy really seems like a very menacing cannon. It's got a lot of so the binoculars, gun. right? Yeah. So it's slightly different from the toy. I, I think the toy is a black color. Like but you know what, it's, kind of thing. Yeah. it's 
But the but function, it, is, the function is the same and it does yeah. what it does. I'm okay. just going to just, how many pieces, do you have any idea inside this? Uh, good question. Uh, hmm. I never really do the piece count. I would yeah. say close to maybe less than 10,000 between 8,000 pieces. I okay, so think. you're close to one of the top four Lego <laughs> products. Uh, no. <laughs> I, think I thought the biggest is the Colosseum, the biggest... which is 9,000, right? Right now? You got me there. I, <laughs> I always. Um, I just know because I, I just I just checked because <laughs> I was wondering. Oh, that 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 piece is actually quite. A but it's tiny. Build. It's tiny. Oh, I can imagine because all the same colors as well. All the same colors, ten colors, yeah. and, and you have to repeat the same steps like a thousand times. Yeah, yeah, for the same build. So no, but yeah. this is amazing. This is yeah. yeah. So if you can turn to the back of it, yeah. which I do some customization. Yeah. I'm sorry. Some technical issues. So this is built to be modular, so actually all the segments can come can apart. come apart. So when it comes to exhibition, it will be easier for us to actually print it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I am to move this to the back, let's see. Yes, we got it nicely in view. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you can see that there is a energy room that is inbuilt here yeah so i know for the actual um setting is supposed to be underground um but i built it this way so that at least i will have the energy room yeah i mean you want it to be some customization there correct yeah uh, the actual toy do have a cage yeah so you've got your trap door here trap as well door as well as the prison cell yeah prison cell and it's got all the details. electronics which we have on the actual prison cell correct that is so cool. Yeah. And what's cool, the energy room is you actually can have this thing sliding along, yeah. right? So this... Sorry. Oops. Yeah. It just fits in nicely with yep. the... I'm using the helipad as the... Ah, oh, okay. You're using the yeah. helipad as the top on it. As the top, yeah. So is this... Does it come out, the helipad? Yeah, it comes out. Ah. You can actually take it out. They can take it out. Yeah. yeah. That is so, so cool. Uh, I think in the commercial, Cliff Dagger will just drop in and then... Don't yeah, get stuck in the prison cell. Yeah, yeah, we have the commercials on <laughs> the site as well. Yeah. So this that's it is. So amazing. And then you've got all here. This is also that big area which we have. You even have a little grill down here to, yeah. to show. This is the oil pan dripping area, I guess, for... Yeah, I think in the, the cartoon, this is supposed to be... Um, like it's a, a mechanic repair. shop. And yeah. it's a mechanic shop and Correct. so where Buddy Hawks does his uh, fixing yeah. of so the toys. So we can actually put oh, in sorry, like the all the different vehicles inside. Yeah. Uh, I think Thunderhawk will fit inside as well. Yeah, definitely. This is so cool. This one, as I said, it's the first thing I saw of your creation and I saw it was your name and your colleague that you yeah your, so that you mentioned my teammates yeah your teammate. we do it together and I think it was put under it was linking to the Titans creation or yeah if correct I'm not wrong um, but the place I saw it wasn't very clear and the link wasn't working and I couldn't oh, find it and then I was okay. trying to hunt around and then I don't know what happened I got distracted <laughs> <laughs> and then I couldn't find but I had in my list of things to to find hunt you down and then okay. we came into contact just because of yeah. through some of the other builds that I guess you put up the Rhino like. The Holy Grove for mass collectors. Yeah. Yeah, Border Hill. And, I mean, as a kid, I would have loved to have this. Mm. Yeah, as a playset. Yeah, I never had one either. I never uh, had one. Yeah, as a, as a so kid. So now, um, being able to actually rebuild this in Lego. And Lego. I think this would now be a Holy Grail for someone who loves Lego and loves masks and, masks, and wants yeah. to be able to collect a, a Lego mask set. To build something like this will be amazing. Like it will be something of a challenge, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think the hard part would be to gather all the pieces mm. to in the right color. Yeah. To make it uh, as much. Um, I have seen different versions of yeah. Border Hill. Some yeah. they like to have it in gray. Yeah. Yeah, and the the scale of it is also different. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, I try to because because I have the luxury of having the actual toy with mm. me as uh, because my friend actually lent it to me. Yeah, and I use that as a good reference for how the transformation works, yeah. and how the scale actually is, and things like that. So, and then you had your rhino, so you knew what you needed to build, yeah. and you could put them side by side. Correct. It's just uh, I'm still a bit dumbfounded by how amazing this is—the sky scale of it and the transform. 
Yes. It would right. actually be bigger than Minific scale for this. Yeah. Group. But uh, I'm just happy to be able to make all the transformation works. Yeah. I don't know what I'll do differently. So this one, you also have to order in all the bricks, or uh, you had you use what you had. I had some help. So when I was doing this, yeah. uh, some of my teammates they have the blue parts. Yeah, they just pass it to me. Okay. Yeah, but a lot of the other parts were ordered from Bricklink yeah. to complete it, especially like this big mm. tiles. Yeah. Oh wow! This, I haven't seen this. Where did this come from? Massive. Yeah, this would be the usually for the UCS sets. Ah. They have it as the signboard. Yes. Yeah. It, it's in black usually. Yeah. Yeah. But these are very nice pieces for, uh, you know, when it's big builds to have it as a base. Yeah. Yeah. So these are huge. These are what eight by sixteen. Or eight by sixteen. Eight by sixteen. Yeah. Eight by sixteen stacks. Yeah. Yeah. So it will. It makes it a lot easier than having multiple cover, of the small, correct. like small ones. And it will yeah. be yeah. If you are using those two by four or even two by two, yeah, <laughs> it will be yeah a nightmare to actually cover up the whole pieces. I mean, I always found those also ch not challenging, but uh, I say the fun part of mm. building my modular cities when you're doing all the sidewalk and all these things uh, <laughs> or the ground floor. And a lot of time, I find they don't give. They should have give enough of these to fill up each floor instead of keeping all the studs open yeah. because it looks so much because you meter. Need, yeah. Okay. Choose two different school of thoughts yeah. because um, you can't put figures on it. You can't yeah, put fix on right. it. You can yeah. fix it. Yeah, yeah. But, but then you can always get the the tile that has the, the jumper. The jumper. The jumper. Yeah, the jumper yeah. stud, so right? To put in between yeah. if okay. you want to put it interchangeably exactly. or at the spots where you need to have the person standing by the food or whatever. Yeah. You just put those so studs on. So it depends on, on uh, your own preference. Yeah. If you like to have yeah. jumpers or cross, you can just have a few. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to have it. Um, studless, you yeah. can just tile the whole thing. I like that. I like that studless. Yeah, that studless. Look. But as you said, that's the cool thing. It's each to their own, right? Exactly. And you can change it as yeah. much as you like. Yeah. And that's the cool thing. I mean, that's. So, what would you say is the best way to someone to get into Lego? To start. Right? To start, like if they let's say they see this and they're like inspired and like, oh my gosh, I want to build this, but they're complete novice what what kind of route should they take what kind of sets should they be buying first off to try get their hands wet building what will give them the best experience to try and build something uh, like the best to start with mm. is those creator sets yeah usually they will be um, less expensive yeah and they offer the most bricks and, okay um if you are talking about um uh, cost per brick yeah uh, those are the sets that are uh, value for money okay yeah and you're talking about the big the, the creator like those three in one the small ones or the, yeah. the big the big it can be the smaller ones yeah. it can be the bigger ones okay. because the variety of bricks yeah. within those sets are all different yeah uh eventually these bricks will come in handy okay especially the different colors okay yeah. and if you want to build like vehicles should you be buying like some of the car sets to get a feel of how you're building the vehicles and stuff definitely so yeah. those uh, city car sets as yeah. well as uh, those sports car things or uh, the speed champions the speed champions yeah as well as the uh, all the all the superhero sets yeah, okay. those will come in very handy okay yeah. so just build it for that and then you can take it apart and store exactly. your your bricks yeah. in a that's how you build your inventory yeah up. Yeah. Okay, so that's the most cost-effective way. Yes, that's okay. All right, well, I mean, I think this is an amazing time to end. I don't think we can get much bigger physically and is it metaphysically. Really the set? This is the <laughs> biggest set. It's the most amazing set, but I think all I can do is thank you, Ivan, for this amazing chance to have a chat with you. I'm sure we'll have a lot more chats Definitely. In, in the future. And we'll meet thank up you more. for and this chance to be on uh, Mass Force. Yeah. I'm really happy to be uh, featured there as well as... Uh, you know, meeting you and because as I was sharing with you before this, I didn't have anyone that is really in the mass community. Yeah. I didn't know uh, there's a Singapore community. In fact. Yeah, so, we have quite a big community here. Yeah, so uh, I think there was this shot at uh, China Square Central on the first floor. Yes, uh, very cool things. Yeah, oh, very cool things. Yeah. Yes. So they um, they used to have those mass toys mm. on the display. Corner. Yeah. Uh, I always wanted to, yeah, I always... I'm always tempted to actually buy one, but just stop. But you know what? You've you, you you've gone one step further. You've gone and created your own one, and this is something others most people can't do. So I think uh, they will eventually. Yeah, I hope people can just pick this up. Yeah, and then the community will just grow yeah. eventually from there. I mean, I'm I'm so excited. I mean, I think my Lego mask page is one of the most looked at pages on my 
website. Really? Yeah. I see. <laughs> so there's definitely people who are interested in Lego. I and I think hopefully after seeing this, they can be a lot more motivated to want to build their own sure their own lego so. that's, and that's what we want to we want everyone to watch ivan's channel so moc central yeah. um we'll have all the links you've got the youtube channel you've got your facebook page facebook, uh, instagram, instagram Flickr. yeah Flickr. right so all of these things will be linked below and please feel free to join and support <laughs> but, uh, yeah thank you so okay. much thank you yeah and um have a wonderful day and i can't wait to yeah, meet too. up again and see what you've got in store for us next time sure Thank Thanks, you. Ivan. Thank you. Thank you, Rob.